Hi, welcome and thank you for joining us in this M Lifestyle Intellectual Conversation. I'm Pascaline and this is Randy Wilson. Yes. Randy is the Executive Director of the Huff Center and also the CEO of Conscience Consultations. So Randy, we're talking about um, you know, what you went through in college and you mm-hmm. told me about the fear of failure and how mm-hmm. that really helped you to be successful. Mm-hmm. How did you also apply that after college, like in just life? Like how did you apply that whole fear into making it more of a, a motivational source? I like to set goals for myself. You know, with a lot of people they put a goal in front of themselves and, and they either work to achieve it mm-hmm. or overachieve it or it can often it can also kind of be a, uh, a block you know a lot of people don't run through the speed a lot of people don't run through the finish line going their maximum speed sometimes people slow down right when they get to the finish line because they feel like they're done so for me getting through college was particularly having a degree in psychology a lot of people know that you if you really want to be successful in the healthcare field if you want to bill insurance providers you can't just stop at an undergraduate degree mm-hmm. so I think once I graduated college you know, as far as the motivation, you know, you know, using fear to help overcome, I knew I have to make another decision in regard to how I'm going to further my education because now it's it's the real world and I need to really, really figure out what am I going to do. What you did, you went from going to a school undergrad with very small minority population mm-hmm. and then you went to an HBCU for graduate school. Yeah, so. should have did it the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> so how was that different? Like, Man, that was, it was interesting. You know, I um, I wish I would have did it the other way around. If I had to do it over again, I probably would have. Mm-hmm. Um, it was different. I mean, when I came to Richmond, I, uh, I went to Virginia State. I was working at the Boys and Girls Club. I was working at Fallen Creek Middle School. And I was also doing some part-time marketing for Clear Channel radio station. So, you know, I was I was doing a lot, trying to figure out how I was going to pay rent, you know, at the same time trying to figure out how I was going to make money to, to do all the things I wanted to do. And uh, it, it really, initially, it, it was it didn't all fall into place like that. I had to stop and go back to school a couple times just to get through it because working three four jobs and going to school for a grad student I have no family here it just wasn't the easiest transition but I overcome it tell me more about the Huff Center and what you do there the Huff Center is a psychiatric rehabilitation program it has five five physical offices throughout Virginia that satellite out to about 26 different cities counties jurisdictions um, we provide psychosocial rehab, and we have 15 pass. We have about a fleet of 40, 15 passenger vans to go out every day, uh, excluding Sunday, and bring in about 500 consumers. Um, we work with a population of people that have a primary diagnosis of uh, severe mental illness. Mm-hmm. That could be anything from schizophrenia to bipolar, you know, A to Z anything through the DSM-5, um, it's challenging. You know, we employ social workers, nurses, doctors, licensed professional counselors to provide group facilitation and case management, medication management to people within a group so that we can help them better learn how to work and interact with each other Mm -hmm. and then how to transition that out into their homes or into the community so they can also learn how to work and interact and deal with other people. And, um... You have to be 18 years old. We have people, I think our oldest person may be 93 mm-hmm. right now. Strong geriatric population, um, but at the same time, I mean, we have all walks of life. I mean, we have former attorneys, social workers, and school teachers that at one point or another in their life, they just passed the line of sanity. You know, I mean, this is a very stressful world we live in today, and everyone manages stress differently. You know, we have some people that things were great, you know, two, three years ago, but they've, they went through a few obstacles and challenges in their life, and now they just require a little assistance. At the same time, you know, we could have a person, you know, we could have a person who's pretty educated, you know, right now, and actually working toward their college education, but due to how they're dealing with depression, just as an example, they may benefit from our services. You know, what I've learned in working with the people in mental health is that, you know, labels conceal more than they reveal. You can't always judge a book by its cover. Um, everyone 
could benefit from help and support. Mm -hmm. And that's that's part of what we do at the Hub Center. You know, it stands for hope, unity, and freedom. It's our hope that we can unite a group of people and help free them to believe and inspire to do the things that they want to do or once did before. Hello, my name is Randy Wilson, President and CEO of Conscious Consultations. At Conscious Consultations, it's our goal to access status, build direction, and create paths in working with individuals and businesses within our community. Within our team, hopefully we'll be able to determine if we can provide a service for you, whether it's life coaching, business coaching, or maybe you just want us to come out to your office and do a training. We love doing speaking engagements. Come over to our office and have a Conscious Consultation Assessment. Let us help you realize your dream and execute that vision. Visit us at www.ConsciousConsultations.com. just watched a commercial about conscious consultation mm -hmm. and it's interesting how you went from you know the Huff Center to conscious consultations what mm -hmm. how did you make that transact like mm -hmm. transition there's a lot of college students that need a little bit of professional counseling there's a lot of businesses that need a little bit of a uh, counseling on community awareness so they can figure out how to better uh, bring in more clientele um, there's a lot of people who don't have insurance that could benefit from some coaching some guidance so to transition you know I wanted to be more diversified as a professional and as a clinician mm -hmm. to be able to help improve the quality of everyone's life by speaking on topics that would benefit them a lot of my speaking engagements often create opportunities to consult so a big part of how I got into the consulting business was just providing awareness education tools and resources in the community to help give people information in return they'll come back and ask for more specific individualized information mm -hmm. and that's kind of how the, the consultation the consulting relationship begins how would you advise you know our M Lifestyle readers those who are, will be viewing us how they can also overcome certain challenges that they you know mm -hmm. will experience as well I, I, I talk about this in a lot of my speaking engagements uh, I'll, I'll address four or five areas that of advice. This is my life. Therefore, I'm the CEO. It's my life. I made the decisions on how I'm going to live. So my advice to people is that they need to understand that they are the CEO of their own life. You don't go to someone else to make the decisions for you. Or you can get resources, support, guidance, direction. But at the end of the day, it's a responsibility for who you are. Because this is your life and it's up to you to determine how you're going to move forward. So since that's, this is my life, I'm also the CFO. <laughs> I'm responsible for making the financial decisions in regard to how I'm going to manage my money, save, invest, protect on how I move forward. I can't expect you know, my financial decisions to just come from my financial advisor. <laughs> I'm the personal nutritionist in my life. I put what I eat in my body. You know, I can't defer on McDonald's or the news or the media or everyone in the health market to determine what's the best for my body. I'm responsible for my spirit. Therefore, I have to make decisions on what I choose to listen to, read, or believe, period. I can't allow someone else to determine that for me. So my advice is that for all people is that, you know, if you want to be more effective in being who you are, you need to understand that it starts with you. And you can't help other people until you can completely help yourself. That is great advice. Would you like to maybe, if any of our readers are interested in looking up um, Conscious Consultations, mm -hmm. maybe giving them the website? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, www.consciousconsultations.com. Check that out. You can find out more information about me there. I believe that I have a, a very valuable service that can help. Also, I encourage you to uh, provide support and awareness and finding out more about the Huff Center. I so said we're in five different cities. We satellite out to 26 cities and providing psychosocial rehabilitation. And uh, that's at HuffCenter.com. Um, I'd also like to plug that I'm, I'm currently the chair of RVA's Feed the City. We've been, been doing this for six years. A good friend of mine, Tamir Francis, founded it. Uh, been with them the whole time. Uh, the Sunday before Thanksgiving, we started six years ago feeding 15, 20 bologna and cheese sandwiches. Now we're feeding turkeys and you know, we're just, we're pouring all this back into the city of Richmond. So please check that out because uh, 
it's an initiative that brings a lot of nonprofit organizations to bring the public and private sector together. And uh, we're do it, we're do it, we're gonna do it next year as well. We do it every year. We're in the process of doing it four times a year. So those are just three, uh, two jobs, one job, one business, and a special initiative that I'm involved with that I'd like to provide awareness, and help people get involved with. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Pascaline Ezra with M Lifestyle, and this is Randy Wilson. Please um, like us on Facebook at M Lifestyle, and also follow us on Instagram or Twitter at underscore M Lifestyle. Have a great day.